Chinese students, the path to higher education can be filled with obstacles. But with the African Diaspora College Access Program, or ADC, which was formerly known as IEA, those obstacles can be overcome. The African Diaspora College Access Program provides a range of services to help students prepare for, apply to, and enroll in college. From college prep classes to college tours, the program offers the students the tools they need to succeed. And with online resources like college searching tools and scholarship databases, the program makes it easier for students to navigate the college application process. But the College Access Program is more than just a set of resources. It's a community. A community of students, counselors, and volunteers who are all working together to support one another. So I'm Balma. I'm president of the Women's Club. I'm part of the Black Women's Society. And I'm also part of Psychology Club. And I did leadership initiatives over the summer. As of schools, I'm attending Brown University this fall. Seeing my community here at IEA is just super nice. Like seeing that there's people just of my race and my ethnicity that want to do the same thing that I want to do. They make it seem almost normal and not abnormal for someone like me to try something like pre-med. I've had family that have passed away due to medical reasons and I want to go back to my country at some point and like help them through Doctors Without Borders. Matios and like Sion, they've like encouraged me to like be able to do that through Brown University because they would give me that kind of support that I need to get to that point. In December I found out I was accepted to Duke University early decision so I'll be enrolling there in the fall. I'll be pursuing neuroscience. Um, I've really just been involved in the STEM program at my school. I founded the Anatomy Club with some other peers and then we also started the International Youth Neuroscience Association. I, if I compared my perspective that I had from outside of IEA when I'd see my friends matriculating into like colleges, you know, you sort of see the results and they're going to these big colleges and everything. As much as they've helped me get into the college that I desired, they've also provided me with a lot of connections that I extend beyond my time here. And I really do value that. Um, uh, IA has really helped me when it comes to like writing essays for scholarships, just internships and all that. I think that I've grown a lot and I think my mentors would agree too. Before starting with IA and then after IA, I can say that I definitely know how to approach these things now. My name is Itana. Um, I'm a graduating senior from Springbrook High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. This fall, I'm planning to attend between Yale, Princeton, and Stanford universities. I plan on majoring in between public policy and political science with hopefully a minor in like math or economics. While I was actually filling out these applications, I was matched with my amazing mentor, Meg, and um, what we did is we met like many times a week over like FaceTime, and she'd help me with like my essays, and so I'd like come to her with ideas, and then she'd really help me flesh these out and really kind of figure out what I want to convey through my applications. IEA just kind of provided me these support systems and this guidance that really, I think, helped me stand out and like make myself a compelling candidate for these schools. Uh, I'm going to Princeton University and I hope to study in either mechanical and aerospace engineering or computer science. But definitely a big change in my life. I feel like I put a lot of focus in a lot of community building and a lot of focus on school. I mean, I think none of us would have believed that we would be the persons we are today. My mentor, Lori, she's been extremely helpful. She helps us um, not only choose where we're going, she helps us through financial aid, she helps us with our essays. We were able to compare different schools and that's how I was able to choose Princeton. I think all in all, IEA definitely gave me a clear goal and I know what I want to do with my life now. My name is Mizan. Um, I'm an Eritrean immigrant. Um, I've been here for uh, five years. Um, I plan to major in molecular biology. And I've been accepted into Harvard and Yale. When I first got in, I know uh, Matthias is always very adamant about like all of us have potential and we're going to get where we need to go. But I was still hesitant because like I, I saw all of my peers and they're amazing. And I was like, maybe I didn't think that was possible for me. 
Um, but my mentors are amazing. They gave me all the advice and resources. They gave me a lot of resources that I didn't have access to or know before because I am the first person to be pursuing a four-year college in my family. Um, I know I wouldn't be here without them for sure. I've always been really interested in how do we make like measurable change in our government, in our community, so that um, we can uplift those who have been disadvantaged. For those reasons, I feel like I was always motivated to pursue law. So right now I'm planning on majoring in either engineering or science technology and society, STS, with the plans of going to law school after. The fact of the matter is this process is so unpredictable and like crazy. You should be really judicious about the schools you're applying to, the people you're listening to, the people you're letting see your essays, and preserve your own authenticity. Don't let other people dictate what you should do, what you should like, what you should major in, because the, the more true you are, the more successful you'll be. I think it all goes back to you can do it. Definitely don't procrastinate. Make sure you have fun. When you go to the Boston trip, do not stress. This is honestly an experience of a lifetime. It's gonna be like one of the best years of your life. Don't be scared about going out of state. There are amazing schools in the DMV, of course. There are so many many schools outside. So do not be afraid of that. One, use your time wisely. Um, because from September to December, the time goes by really fast. Coming here, trusting the process, trusting the, like, they're only, IEA Council, like, they're only here to support you, and they're only here to see you at your best, and put you in a situation where, like, like you're at your highest potential there. Make friends and keep an open mind. I would say that, for me, the people here are, like, 30 to 50 percent of the reason why I enjoy coming. You're in good hands, don't worry about it, have a good time, enjoy, and, uh, you're in, for, you're in for a great ride, so just enjoy your senior year. Start early, like, particularly for like the list of colleges you know you want to apply to, and especially for your essays and supplementals if you're going to be applying to like a ton of colleges. Make the most of um, your opportunity. Definitely like keep in touch with your mentors even when you go to college. But the College Access Program is more than just a set of resources. It's a community. A community of students, counselors, and volunteers who are all working together to support one another. And with the help of the ADC, students are not just enrolling in college, they're graduating too. Together, we can open doors to higher education for all students. Thank you for your support of the ADC's College Access Program.